Welcome back to Drifting South. This week, we are on our way back to my favorite spot, Playa Juncolito, where I'll be spending my last two weeks here in Baja, California, before flying home. But first, I want to show you our last day of fishing on the West Coast in Puerto Adolfo Lopez Mateo. Finally stopped the bread car. There's a bread car that goes around playing this little jingle, kind of like um, an ice cream truck song. Just like, pan, pan, you want pan. Pan is bread in Spanish. And this lady was in front of me telling me that these conch buns are so good with coffee. So I've got my bun and I got my coffee and we're out on the water and this is just wonderful. Just wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and soft. Not too sweet. Mm. Yeah, she was right. Good choice. fly fishing for some bonefish and I got this little pinky five bucks says I catch a little baby again it's only been five times watch how easy it is Put it down going down 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 get to the bottom and there's a bite Shit. <laughs> oh, okay. We got bonefish. 
fish or I'll film your fish. No, it's not. It's for you. Oh. Who says you gotta use a fly to catch bonefish, huh? Huh? Yeah, it's really is it crazy. is it cheating if you catch it with a jig? Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, but hey, there it is. These guys are so slippery and so strong. The last two that I caught actually just came off my hook right away, so we'll see. High five. It's one o'clock. The wind's starting to pick up. It's time for us to head in. And we just realized once we got out here that we left the garbage can just out for Minnie to probably destroy. So we'll see if we have a nice surprise for us when we get home. But we did catch quite a few fish, a couple bone fish, which is fun. And what are these called? Group Cabrilla. 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 We've got a bunch of Cabrilla. Spotted bay bass. Spotted bay bass. I was hoping I'd get sunny today, but no such luck. barking. I really hope she didn't get into the garbage. We're about to find out. All right, who thinks Minnie got into the garbage? Raise your hand. Hi, we're home. Oh, yay, <laughs> you're such a good girl. Oh, no garbage, yay, woohoo. <laughs> Woohoo, Minnie! Good girl. Woo! You get fish for dinner. Well, that was a fun day. It's always exhausting. I appreciate all the effort that you make to be the captain, the fish guide. Fish guide of the year. That's that's you. All right. More bounty. Pretty sweet. Time to clean those babies up. I'll make Minnie some dinner. Woohoo! <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us on our fishing day. We were going to head out tomorrow, but I think we're going to use our last day here as a clean up day. We have the washer and dryer available for us to use here, which is huge. We haven't had our own washer and dryer in months. So we're gonna take full advantage of that, clean all of the things, the sheets, the towels, everything, and get ready to leave, get out of here. Let's head to the east side of Baja, California. We're ready. Yeah, why not?
Yeah. That must be like for grabbing like shrimp and shit. Well, I think it was supposed to have two teeth. But yeah, I guess. Grabbing small stuff. Good morning. It's our last morning here in Puerto Adolfo Lopez Mateo. We are heading back to the east side of Baja California to stay at one of my favorite spots so far called Playa Uncalido. Uh, we are pretty much all packed up. Brent just went to go refill our propane tank. Um, last night we used our propane here on this dryer. We have this lovely washer and dryer available here to us, and that's how the dryer gets heated. Um, so as I was trying to finish up our laundry last night, it was 10.30 p.m., and our sheets, our bedding was still not drying, the heat wasn't going, so obviously the propane was out. Um, Brent took off one of our propane tanks, put it on there, and we realized our propane was also very empty. <laughs> so, we finally got the laundry done last night. It was midnight by the time I got my own stuff done as well. And I went to have my last hot shower for the next two weeks because we're gonna be living off of hook, off hookups. We will not have hookups for the next two weeks. So that means no more hot showers, um, no more freely running the water to wash dishes. Um, and that means maybe sometimes peeing in the bush just so that our black tank doesn't fill up too much. Um, anyways, Turns out our propane, both tanks were very low because when I went to have a shower last night at midnight, there was this loud beeping. I was confused and Brent kind of woke up and he's like, the propane is out. Like, oh no. <laughs> so we took back the bottle that we had on there, put it back on and there was just enough for us both to have hot showers this morning, <sighs> which is really great because yeah, two weeks without is gonna be, you know, fine, but not ideal. So we're heading to Playa Hungalito on the east side of Baja California today. One of my favorite spots so far. Whoa, this bird just came and grabbed that branch up there. Is he gonna come back? He's coming back. What are you trying to grab? Huh, I wonder what he wants from that tree. Where was I? Um, no hookups, no power, no water. So we've got our water tank full now. We've got our black and gray tanks emptied. Um, we've got our generator ready with um, jerry cans full of gas. We've got um, batteries that we've charged for the last couple days, external battery packs for the computers. Um, just as much as we can prepare for the, for the no hookup zone. Um, Brent just went to fill our propane tanks. Pretty much everything's put away and cleaned up now, so we're just going to put the slides in and head out.
as soon as we pulled in this this trio in this vehicle had parked right where we wanted to come and we thought "Ooh, are they blocking it off for some reason are they trying to camp here what's going on Brent got out and chatted with them we're like oh no we'll move <laughs> come on over so we got our spot we got our spot we got our spot last time we were here we had the 10 by 10 um, the the tent kind of thing so we had a lot more shade, which now we won't. So with the awning, we're gonna have to tie it down to the trees here because it gets pretty windy since we are right on the ocean. And that's that's it, that's gonna be our shade. Um, we'll set up a nice little spot for a little outdoor shower. It's so warm here, it's incredible. And of course there's a lot of garbage, but look, somebody left a whole freaking tent here. wild what people just leave oh god there's toilet paper everywhere mr. noodles and the tent so that's fun <laughs> yeah here it is Setting up the generator. It's gonna be our power source for bringing the slides out. Are you setting yourself up here, Minnie Mae? There we go. Okay. Get that out of the way. And just have to make sure that there's nothing in the way. Just gotta make sure there's nothing in the way of the slides so they can come out properly. Looks good. Okay, back over. <laughs> okay. All right, slides are coming out. Slide one, out. We got our home back again. Yay! Whew. So one of the reasons I jumped back here to make sure that nothing's in the way is because it has happened, I would say three, maybe four times where it's the strangest thing. The freezer door opened, a pack of bacon fell out, and then it shut again. And there was a pack of bacon getting crushed in here. So. Now I just make sure and check every time. Okay. Lunch is ready. Way better bread.
taking over Jenny Adrift's blog for a minute here. Vlog. Or... We, um, our main extension cord, which is an 80 footer, when we were in San Carlos, you can see that, had a full meltdown. And um, now that we're boondocking, we need to get the generator back, not to piss everyone off, get it way back over the dunes. So without this super long one, we're, we only have two extension cords. Um, that wasn't gonna happen because it melted out. But the nice thing about Mexico is every convenience store and everywhere has plug heads. So I just cut the old one off, stripped it, followed the wiring program that and then we'll have our extension back that's what i love about mexico i'm not just going to throw this extension cord away everybody fixes things and reclaims stuff and that's the way to do it down here well we made it we're at playa Juncalito, and i just so happy i'm so happy to be back um, i do have another video of us we were here for christmas so if you want to check that out i'm going to put it up if you have a laptop or a phone um, it's going to be up here, I believe. Maybe here? Maybe here. Um, so you can click that and check out our video of our Christmas um, we spent here at Juncalito Beach. Um, but yeah, so we've arrived. We have a full tank of water. We have um, battery packs that have been charged. And we're just trying to be very conscious about our waste and what we're using for water um, and where we're going to the bathroom. So since we want to be here as long as we can, we have to be more conscious about going to the bathroom. Um, and we don't want to start filling our tank and it's, you know, going to start smelling and sitting, you know, here in the hot sun. It's not a fun topic, but it's real. So what we've uh, remembered that we had, we were, um, we were in... We were in San Lucas Cove and we met this really nice couple, Josh and Abby and they hooked us up with some of these original wag bags this is by clean waste made in the u.s go anywhere toilet kit so i'm going to show you how we're going to be using these to save our black tank so it says the waste kit includes waste bag pre-loaded with poo powder um, a gelling deodorizing agent uh, natural odor control and decay catalyst, one hand sanitizer and one toilet paper, um, and an outer zip closed disposable bag. Um, so it says to open the toilet kit, place waste bag in bottom of black mesh. Where's the black mesh? Okay, so this also comes with a toilet kit, like a little toilet seat, um, and then I suppose there's black mesh on there where you would put this bag. I've opened this one here. This is the waste bag. You would open this bag around the mesh that it comes with. So it's a pretty wide bag, and I do see it has this powder in it, so I don't wanna mess with that too much. And then the outside of the bag here with the Ziploc, so you use the bag, put it in the Ziploc, put it in the trash. Um, okay, so place waste bag in the bottom of the mesh, black mesh. Um, open up bag fully and you're ready to go. So it's that easy. <laughs> After use, uh, fold waste bag into the zip closed disposable bag, seal it and toss it into any receptacle, public trash, whatever. So, um, this is gonna be saving us. We do have, I think he gave us four of these. Um, we will use the bag more than once. Um, we have a bucket we're gonna set up. So before I set any of this up, I gotta go out into our bathroom area and clean it up because it's obviously been used as a bathroom for possibly many other people. Um, there is trash all throughout the back area there and there's a tent. So. First things first, we're going to go clean that up. Got our bucket. I'm going to put some sand in it because I don't want it to tip over when we're sitting on it, but also this bag isn't going to go all the way down. 
I need it to be able to sit so it doesn't slide off and into the bucket. Toilet paper, wet wipes, and a rock so it doesn't fly away. ocean and where you're sitting. Dry, dry. I'm going to live. It's alive. It just got dropped in the tide, right? It's a cool one. Yeah, it is. Next week on Drifting South, I'm going to show you more of the beautiful area that we're in right now. We're going to be doing some exploring and, of course, some fishing. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Help my channel grow and keep up to date with new videos coming out. Thank you so much for watching and take care until next time.